The main widgets introduced in this video are the following. Slider, progress bar, progress circle, gauge, gauge pointer, time clock, and digital clock. First, we will introduce the slider widget. Just set min and max as required. Step is the step value, which is the value that can be changed by sliding once. Value is the current value. You can see it immediately after the modification. Vertical is whether to display vertically. After vertical is checked, you can see the effect. Bar size is the height and the width of the axis. When slider width bar is checked, you can drag any position on the widget, no need to drag the bow to change the value. Next, we talk about the progress bar widget. Vertical is achieved after vertical is checked. You can see the vertical effect by adjusting the size. The current percentage can be displayed after checking show text. After checking the reverse, it can be reversed. Since the max and the value are in percentage form, so it will be calculated automatically. Next, let's talk about the progress circle widget. First, the max and the value. Unlike a progress bar, the progress circle is numeric, not a percentage type. Start angle is the start angle. The starting angle is minus 90 degree. You can modify it to other degrees. Now it's the effect of 90 degrees. The range of values is from 0 to 360 degrees. After changing the value, it will be automatically adjusted with the percentage of max. Line-wise is the width of the line. Unit is the unit, and when show text is true, unit will be displayed after value. Next, we will show you the effect. For example, show text is now checked. Line cap is the tab. There are rectangle and the rounded tab. The rectangle is a smooth shape. The round is round shape. Counterclockwise is whether to rotate the counterclockwise or not. If rotated in the counterclockwise direction, the value will be calculated in the counterclockwise direction. Next, we will introduce the gauge widget. Gauge is a composite widget. A gauge contains a gauge pointer. You can set the dial of the gauge according to your need.
The gauge pointer is usually used with gauge. Just set it according to your needs. can be set together with anchor X and Y. Angle is the rotation angle. The rotation angle supports ne negative values, takes values from minus 360 degrees to 360 degree. The gauge pointer can also be used alone. You can see the specific effect. Then we we'll introduce the time clock widget. Center image is the center image. Dial image is the background image. Our image is the our hand image. After selecting the image, it needs to be adjusted according to the anchor X and Y. Minute image and second image are the minute hand and second hand, the same as our hand. Finally, we introduce digital clock, which is a real-time clock. You can modify many different formats. You can refer to the user menu for details. Only a few formats are shown here. First, we need to show the slider widget. In the process of sliding, you can see the corresponding return value. Set max and set min can set the maximum and the minimum values. Set value can set the current value. Set a step can set the step value. As you can see, the sliding step increased 5. If it is 10, slide once to increase 10. Get value can get the current value.
The next is the progress bar. Progress bar cannot set a minimum value but can set a maximum value. Set show text can set whether to display the value. Set value can set the current value. Get value can get the current value. Get percent can get the current percentage value. The next is the progress circle. It is basically similar to the progress bar widget. Then is the gauge widget. Set draw tab can set the layout form. The specific draw tab can be referred to the image widget. Not all of them are shown here. Set angle can set the angle of the gauge pointer and support negative values. Set format can set the format of the digital clock widget. The specific format can be referred to the user menu. Set date can set the time of digital clock and time clock. Above are the demo video about the slider, progress bar, progress circle, gauge, gauge pointer, digital clock, and the time clock. Thank you for watching.